Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 Hybrid Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its parking sensors. You have your 360 degree backup camera along with your heated and cooled front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 Hybrid Limited. Let's get started couple of the exterior features that you will see on this limited is its daytime running lights you also have your fog lamps taking a closer look just at your front grille you're gonna see your front facing camera for the 360 degree backup camera you have your parking sensors over on the side you have the 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and then you'll have your down facing camera sorry on both sets of mirrors for the 360 degree backup camera Blind spot warning indicator just located on the inside of the mirror. So with that indicator, it'll actually light up just looking if there is another vehicle right beside you. Smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push it on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. This is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is magnetic gray. Taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats. You have your black interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on the left hand side, automatic high beams, window wiper DI rear view for the 360 degree backup camera, heated steering wheel and power lift gate release. Seat memory controls along with your mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function as well as your Bluetooth connectivity, volume control, voice recognition, lane departure alert, as well as your cruise control mode select and seat function. It does offer the push button start, so all you have to do is push foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. And taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on there. So scrolling through, you have your fuel economy. As well as the distance to empty, you can also go through and see your compass, as well as your lane departure alert, audio control, energy monitor, all-wheel drive, trip info, settings menu with the lane trace assist, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, parking sensors on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features. You'll finish with your messages menu, and as you can see, you have an exterior temperature gauge as well as a digital clock on there as well. If we take a closer look now at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So inside the menu screen, you have your destination, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. With the apps menu, it's part of the Antune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Slacker app, which allows you to stream your music from your phone. Under the touch panel display, you can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. It is compatible with Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, and you do have that premium JBL sound system with the Sirius XM satellite radio. Hazard lights, dual zone climate control settings located down below with the traction control on and off, heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot or how cool you'd like it. USB and power outlet with your wireless charging pad, so once you have it turned on, you can just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you. As you can see, you have your trail with your eco and sport mode along with the EV mode as well. So depending on which way you actually turn it, as you can see, it'll actually change colors. It's mounted to an automatic transmission. And then if you take a closer look up top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated garage door opener. And as you can see in that back window, you have that little arch there. That's actually the camera for this mirror here. So to make things a little bit easier for you when you're actually driving, you can actually check on this to see exactly how much room you have behind you in the vehicle that's following you. If you want to go back to the mirror, just flip this once again, and it will go back to being the mirror you had. Now you have the open and close as well as the tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof with the SOS safety connect and sunglass case holder. So in the event that you're in a collision and you're unable to respond, emergency services will be sent out to you right away using the SOS connect. Now, taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. As you can see, you can change up the view of the backup camera to suit your needs. And then if you put the vehicle into drive and you hit that view button that's located on your driver's side, right beside your heated steering wheel, 
As you can see, you have a couple of different views here, which has that side view for you. So if you hit that view button, uh, once more it'll actually go back and it'll show you the main screen, which shows you the front end of the vehicle, which makes things a little bit easier for you, especially when you have um, parking that you, uh, well, any parking that you would have to do underground, makes things a little bit easier for you. Now, when you're in park and you hit that view button, it'll show you a nice 360 degree view up close and a more aerial view. That way you can see if there's any obstructions in your way just before you pull out of the driveway in the morning. If you want, you can actually pause it just to um, see exactly um, what that obstruction might be. And if you go into the settings menu here, you can adjust things accordingly depending on what color you actually purchased or it just comes down to your personal preference as well. And then when you're all finished up, just hit the view button once more and it'll go back to the previous screen you were on. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you have the backup camera just on the left hand side and the rear hatch release located just underneath. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you do have the carbon cover in the back, which is great because you can cover up your valuables just by going from place to place. You have a 60-40 split for the rear seat, so in the event that you need the additional space, it's available to you. You can do so by pulling on one of those two tabs that you see on either side. Underneath the floor, you'll find the spare tires, both the jack and toolkit, so if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. If you want, you can flip this piece over just in case the cargo that you are hauling is a little bit rougher on the carpet side, and you can lower it down a little bit farther just in case you do need the additional space. Now, the other nice thing is that you do have a power adjustable tailgate, so if you actually hold down the button for approximately two seconds of the height you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. Now, the other nice thing is that you do have the power, or I should say the kick assist feature for the power tailgate. So if you just kick underneath the rear bumper there, it'll actually close the tailgate for you automatically. Now if you want, you can actually kick underneath there again and interrupt it, just if you want to have it uh, stopped in a certain area for yourself. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.